Hi there, Mark from Mark's Daily Apple. So fat, not glucose from carbohydrates, is the preferred fuel of human metabolism and has been for most of human evolution. We actually require only minimal amounts of glucose, most or all of which can be supplied by the liver as needed on a daily basis. Unfortunately, many of us rely on carbs as a primary source of fuel, and this carb dependency has driven us to experience a vast array of metabolic problems. The studies keep piling up, indicating that carbohydrate intake is the major variable in determining body composition, and that excess glucose from carbohydrate intake especially processed grains and sugars, is the primary culprit in obesity and in many disease processes. So it follows logically that if you can limit carb intake to ideally under 150 grams of carbs a day and make up the difference with tasty fats and protein, you can literally reprogram your genes back to the evolutionary based factory setting you had at birth the setting that offered you the opportunity to start life as a truly efficient fat-burning organism and to continue to do so for the rest of your life as long as you send the right signals to your genes. In other words, our genes expect us to function optimally when we consume fats and can easily access our stored fat. So, how do you fuel with fat? The first step is to eliminate grains, sugars, and seed oils. Of course, when you can get rid of that crap and naturally limit your carb intake to veggies, root tubers, and a few fruits, you almost invariably decrease carbs to under 150 grams a day. So you'll want to fill your plate up with colorful veggies, low in carbs and high in antioxidants. Things like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, carrots and tomatoes, kale. Get creative. Next, add a palm-sized piece of lean protein fish, chicken, beef, lamb, pork, any of your favorite meats. Salmon is one of my favorites because it contains anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acids. You could also choose grass-fed meats, other oily cold water fish, or even eggs from pastured hens, all of which are great sources of omega-3 fats. Then we look to replace the unhealthy cooking oils with heart-healthy fats like avocado oil and extra virgin olive oil and even real butter. And of course, Flavor up your primal plate by adding paleo spices like cayenne pepper, clove, cinnamon, rosemary, garlic, and turmeric. Stick to the primal blueprint diet and I promise you'll train your body to stop dipping into your glucose stores and start accessing your stored body fat for energy. As you start to excel at burning off your stored body fat, you'll lose weight and your appetite will subside. So hunger no longer rules the day. It's a beautiful thing. Until next time, stay primal.